Hello, Chris Chan from HKBU Library here. In this short video, I'll talk you through how the Mendeley Cite add-in from Microsoft Word can make life a lot easier when citing sources in Chicago style. First, make sure that you have the Mendeley add-in installed and that you've selected Chicago style. There are several different variants of Chicago style 17th edition to choose from. I found this one to work well. If you don't see that option in your list, add it using the Select Another Style link at the bottom of the window. In Chicago style, citations are commonly added to your text using footnotes. Place your cursor where you want the footnote to appear, and then use the Insert Footnote option under References. Then, in the Mendeley sidebar, search for the item that you need to cite you can search your entire Mendeley library here. The author's surname is usually the best way to find what you need. Click on Insert Citation, and the citation will be inserted at the cursor. Footnotes should be indented, so make the appropriate adjustments using the ruler. Certain rules apply when citing the same source repeatedly in Chicago style, and luckily Mendeley takes these into account. For example, when a citation is to exactly the same source as the previous footnote, the Latin shorthand ibid is used. As you can see, if we cite the source again using Mendeley, the short form is correctly applied. This can be incredibly handy, because if you're anything like me, you probably change the order of your citations around as you work on a paper. Mendeley can automatically update your footnotes as needed. Next, I'll add a new reference in the same way as before. Now, I'll cite the first article by Natalie Joy again. Note that although it has been cited before, IBID cannot be used in this case as there is another citation between this and the last time Joy was cited. Instead, a short form should be used, and again, Mendeley is able to recognize what is needed. Note that in this case, a specific part of the text has been quoted, and the citation needs to be amended to include the page numbers. Once your paper is done, Mendeley can help with the bibliography too. Move your cursor to where you want your bibliography, and then find the Insert Bibliography option in the Mendeley sidebar. All of the sources cited in the document will be presented in alphabetical order. Remember that the quality of your bibliography and footnotes depends on the information that you imported into Mendeley, so it's always good practice to check them for mistakes. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. 